welcome to my channel if you're watching this it is sunday i think may 14th and it's also mother's day i just want to celebrate all the mothers out there who have gone so hard for their children and really loved them but i also want to celebrate anyone right now who may have lost a parent um who might be yearning for their love of a parent or anyone who has gone no contact with their mama um, for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. I just want to say that I'm sending love your way um, And I stand in agreement with you whatever you decide um, Today what I am doing is I am cooking Sunday dinner for my boyfriend And so what are we making? He told me that he wants chicken alfredo and so I was like let me chef it up a little bit for him um, so I just want to show y'all all the ingredients that I have going on right here. I do make my Alfredo sauce by myself. Um, so the ingredients that you're seeing, I use a little bit of Italian seasoning. I also use some ground pepper. Um, when I'm not using that, I'm using some parsley flakes. And then I top it off with some garlic powder. I do also include a little bit of minced garlic, um, you know. And then I also have my pasta noodles. We're gonna be using fettuccine. Um, I have shredded Parmesan for my sauce because I am making it from scratch. Yeah, we're not doing the store bar can, no. Um, and then I have heavy whipping cream for my sauce as well. And then I got a little bit of white cooking wine to add to that sauce to give it a little, you know, a little tart taste. Um, other than that, I got my pans and stuff ready for y'all to go. Um, and then you're gonna want to also have a knife. And then you're gonna want to have a cutting board nearby. And then I also have my chicken cutlets, of course, and my sink. Um, they were defrosting, but I'm gonna bring them on over here to the surface so y'all can see them. And you might also wanna have a pair of kitchen scissors as well um, to open up your meat if you're using a different type of um, meat. So we're gonna get started, y'all. Now that y'all were able to see all the ingredients. Let's get started. Um, I did grab a pair of kitchen scissors because I'm gonna cut open the meat. Now the first step that I normally do is we're gonna cut open the meat and we're gonna season it um, with the seasonings that we have. So I'm just gonna cut, 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 one by one. There is, there might be some liquid in them. So just be careful, y'all, as you're cutting. I like to clean as I go, so I'm not too worried about that. We will be wiping stuff down and disinfecting stuff. And for those of y'all little chatty Cathy's in the comments that are like, ew, she didn't wash her hands. I did wash my hands prior to starting the video. I just didn't put that on recording it. Now, so I'm just gonna cook, 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 cook all of them now i do need a plate you could season on your cutting board um but i don't know if i want to do that and we have to clean our meat as well i just want to quickly prove to y'all that i am cleaning my meat clean your meat i know i've said this in prior videos but meat is dirty clean the meat so i'm just gonna i have some vinegar for those of y'all who are wondering i have some vinegar And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I move that around a little bit. Excuse my little, but I'm gonna move that around in the little vinegar water concoction. I probably put more vinegar than I put water, but you just don't want your meat to smell like vinegar. Um, I probably let that sit for a few seconds after I take it and let it sit in there. So I say I let it sit for about two to three minutes. While it's doing that, I'm just gonna clean up my area because like I said, I like to clean as I go. And I'll see y'all in a little bit when I come back and finish the next steps. Yeah, so I drained the water on the meat, um, the water and um, obviously vinegar concoction. Now I'm just gonna start taking pieces of my meat and putting them over here on my cutting board. And for chicken Alfredo, even though I have these big chicken cutlets, um, I start to slice them. And I do start to slice them into smaller pieces before I season them. I think it makes it easier to cook. Um, and I think it just also helps you really make sure that there's an even distribution on your food. Um, I really like making chicken Alfredo. 
um, especially making it from scratch. I've made it for my boyfriend a few times and he's gonna make a debut for y'all. I know it's been a minute since y'all seen him and y'all probably like, is she single? I'm not single. I am very much in a relationship. And so my boyfriend's gonna make a little debut later. So we really love uh, Olive Garden, y'all. Um, but Olive Garden ain't shape. <laughs> but that's been like our spot type of thing. And so we're having like a little Italian dish to pay homage to that. Um, I'm gonna go grab a plate off camera and then come back because I need somewhere to put the chicken that I just cut. Y'all, so I am on the final piece of chicken. Um, and for the sake of time, I did the rest of the cutting off camera, um, as you can see. But essentially, you're gonna just cut all of those into little cube-like pieces. You can do it as big or as small as you like. I um, tend to keep them pretty average size because keep in mind, when you cook them, they're gonna shrink a little bit. Um, I did use five chicken cutlet pieces um, to create this effect, right? And honestly, I thought that was too much chicken, but it was just enough. Um, and so what I'm gonna start doing with my meat is I'm gonna grab my seasonings and I'm just gonna start seasoning away. Um, I'm gonna start with my black pepper at first and just kind of shake that on top. Um, you can season with whatever you'd like. Um, I try to keep it pretty neutral and then I like move it all around my meat. Um, similarly, and then I distribute again. Move it all around my meat. I like black pepper, so I start with black pepper. Then I'm gonna go in with my Italian seasoning. I think this has like thyme in it. Might have some oregano as well um, and some other things inside. So in order to pay homage to that idea of that Italian dinner, I am really leveraging that. Because I also really like parsley. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. Um, we're gonna sprinkle some parsley on top of our chicken as well. And then we're gonna move that around. We're gonna sprinkle some parsley again. And then lastly, but not least, we're gonna add in our um, garlic powder. This is new, so we gotta open it. But we're gonna add it in onto our chicken. I like garlic as well, so I do tend to use a generous amount of garlic. And I, as you can see, I flip my meat and then add, right? We flip our meat and then add. And then while you're cooking it, if you wanna add more, be my guest, my loves. But essentially, that's how my meat looks. Um, if I have it, sometimes I'll add Sazon. I don't believe I have Sazon here today, so we're not gonna add it, but that essentially is how your meat should look right before you're getting to put it into the oven. Just, guys, so I grabbed my extra virgin olive oil. Um, supposedly, this is supposed to be better for you, well, whatever, but, and I'm going to add a little, right? Be very, you know, I don't like my food to be too oily. So I'm gonna put a little bit and then I'm gonna turn on my eye. And then I'm also in the meantime, while that heats up a tad, so that's for our chicken, but we need to heat up our noodles in here. So I'm gonna add some water, generous amount of water. Um, you don't wanna use tap water or you don't have to use tap water. Do what feels good for you. As you can see too, uh, we're preheating the oven. We also got some garlic knots. So we're gonna let those simmer as well. Um, supposedly though, we're not supposed to cook those too long. So we're gonna make those a little bit in, and that's where my boo-boo will make a debut. We're gonna put it in the back eye just to keep some separation. The oven is preheated. That's what that little beep was. Um, I'm gonna give the oil a little second to heat up and then it'll be time for us to add in our chicken. Hello ladies and gentlemen, happy Mother's Day by the way. Um, so here I am, I'm gonna make the garlic knots. Uh, I already added the extra um, virgin olive oil. Set it there. Um, now I'm gonna put it in the oven. Real quick. It'll look uh, real nice and cold, right babe? Yeah. 
But not them giving us only six, y'all. I know, that's robbery. Stay yeah, tuned. So it's time to put the chicken and the oil. At first, I messed up, y'all. I heated up too quickly. So it's, it's gonna cook a little fast, y'all. Forgive me. I put it on too high at first. I was a little bit all over the place, so it's gonna cook a little quicker than I'd like. So I turned my eye all the way down to kind of combat that. I tried to let it cool off a bit, so stop it and then start it again. But everything can be perfect. You see your back, you know? I'm gonna try to cook all of this meat at the same time. So I'm just dropping it out in sporadic places. Yeah, I do not have a nonstick pan, so just gonna do my best. But put all the meat in, just try to make sure that it gets some oil. Just continue to stir your noodles to make sure that they're not sticking to the pot or sticking to each other. In addition to that, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on my front eye because we're about to make our sauce. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the heavy whipping cream. Oh my goodness, I thought I was strong, yeah. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. And I'm gonna open it and pour some of the heavy whipping cream inside of this. Now I use a generous amount, but I don't use all of it because I wanna make sure that I have some if I wanna add more in. Then I let that simmer for a little bit and I open up my minced garlic. I'm sorry y'all, I didn't have this pre open for y'all all over the place today we're gonna take some of the minced garlic and we're gonna just stir it into here we're gonna add a generous amount of that minced garlic as well now you can add as little or as much as you like my man doesn't really like all that much garlic so i'm gonna stop there then what you're gonna want to do we season everything in a black household, okay? So we're gonna season it with a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna season it with a little bit of black pepper as well, just for some color. We're also going to add in some parsley, again, for some color. That's pretty much where we're gonna go with that. We're gonna mix it again. So it should start looking to you a little bit like a natural Alfredo. And we're gonna let that cook, 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 cook. All right, I'm gonna let that cook. Now your sauce should take you a few seconds, so I'm again gonna continue to stir my noodles while the sauce heats up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of this white cooking wine. You don't have to add too much because it's a very poignant flavor. And you can also decide to taste as you go. Like I low key want a little taste. Yeah. I may add a little more of the white. You can barely taste it. But really, y'all, you do this at your discretion. And then I'm gonna mix it. And I want all of that to be lathered before I actually go in and add my Parmesan cheese. Because the Parmesan cheese. Yeah. The final step is to go ahead and open up your um, Parmesan cheese, y'all. This might be hard for y'all to open up like me, so I just have my knife on standby so I can peel it open. What you're gonna do with this, you're gonna start to drop your Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it in like so. Like so. Now, I don't use all of it. Mind you, I still have some in here because I like to mix it into my sauce. And I'm gonna just keep building my sauce up as this, you know, melts. We're gonna add some more. You can add as much seasoning as you like, but this is really where it begins. It's just melting. 
and so i'm gonna just give it a second to do what it needs to do but essentially uh that is how we do that and again we're gonna check on our noodles again Yeah, so as this is cooking and my cheese is melting, I still have it on a low type of setting. What I am gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the meat that I was making and all of its beautifulness, right? And I'm going to take it and I'm gonna pour this into it. Now, if you have a big enough skillet, y'all, you can definitely, I feel like I added so much of the grease into that. Yeah, I want the chicken and the chicken ain't coming. So I'm gonna grab my little thingy. I'm gonna keep spinning. Keep spinning, y'all. Now, the reason behind leaving some of that other stuff is because you can add now that you have this. So again, I'm gonna add the remainder of my chicken. Of my little chicken. All our chicken is used in this little sauce. And then I'm also going to add some more Parmesan sauce. Parmesan cheese, by the way. I'm going to add all the remainder of the Parmesan that I kept. And I'm going to just let that simmer. I think at this point, my noodles are done. Take it out. All right, y'all, so now that the sauce is been heating up, we added everything into here, the cheese, the uh, milk, the, you know, seasonings, and the chicken. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna pour all of this inside of this bigger pot where the noodles are, slowly. So I'm gonna pour some and then start mixing it around. Yeah, it smells fantastic, right, babe? Yeah. If you want your sauce to be less, like, liquidy, you can add more Parmesan cheese. Or you can add mozzarella cheese, if that's something that you like. But I'm gonna start just grabbing it in here. Now that it's like that, we're just gonna start kind of mixing it around. Probably going to switch from this spoon to I don't even know what you call them, like the clamp things. <laughs> um, and that's that, y'all. Yeah. So I hate that mine is so like liquidy, but this is kind of what it looks like um, on a plate. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.